Alright boys, make yourself at home. Your parents just vacation here, dude? Nice. Yeah, I mean they they uh, vacation here right now, but they plan on retiring later on. Alright. You guys want beers? Uh yeah. Okay. Sure dude. Sure. I could definitely use oh, There it is, my stuff. Awesome. Thank you. Of course. So you like the place? Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, cheers to a good trip. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we can cheers. 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 Oh, so, you excited for tomorrow? I'm actually getting pretty nervous for it, to be honest. Don't be nervous, dude. I mean, it makes sense why he's nervous. You've met this girl, what, like once? Yeah, I mean, we met once in the beginning, but we text every day and FaceTime every day and... I don't know. I actually have a really good feeling about her. Yeah, he has a good feeling about it. He came all this way to support her. Yeah. Nothing I, will go wrong. I have you guys too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I uh, I hope it works out. Oh, my bad. Hey, babe. Yeah, hold on. No, no, no. I'll talk. Sorry. So? You excited for tomorrow? Yeah. She's still nervous. 
you guys been texting every day? Yeah, we actually text almost all the time every day and FaceTime mornings and nights. You know what I think is actually pretty underrated? Huh. Morning text. I mean, I, I guess so, yeah, why? <laughs> well, because it's, I don't know, it's like lovely waking up to a text from your significant other. It's like a great start to your day. Yeah, I, I guess I could see that. Right. Um, and you guys texting right now? What is it, afternoon text? Uh, yeah. Well, no, okay, not right now. I sent her a text about an hour ago, and I'll probably not do the whole double texting thing. You're not going to do a double text? What's wrong with a double text? Well, you know how, like, double text is pretty, like, risky, right? Why is it risky? I mean, she's your, she's your girlfriend, right? You're yeah, I mean, she's my girlfriend, but you don't double text. That's just... The thing with texting is, like, you have to be there, but not eager about it. Huh. You gotta play the game. It's where you, like, uh, you want what you can't have. I mean, why would you care so much? It's your girlfriend. Just talk to her. Well, it seems kind of clingy. Jake, back me up. You know about the double texting thing, right? What? Just like... Never double text? Exactly! Spence, there are certain rules that you have to follow when it comes to texting a significant other. You know that, right? Yeah, I get that there are rules, but where is the rule book? Well, it's sort of like unspoken laws. Like, I mean, since I've started texting, I've figured out what works and what doesn't, and double texting definitely seems kind of clingy. Sure. Sure it does. Well, do you guys want to make dinner? Yeah, we have food in the fridge. Cool. Let's have some dinner. After one whole quart of brandy, like a daisy, I'm awake. With no bromo seltzer handy, I don't even shake. Men are not a new sensation. I've done pretty well, I think. But this half-pint imitation put me on the blink. I'm wild again, beguiled again, a simpering, whimpering child again, bewitched, bothered, and bewitched. Well, we'll be in about at like three, and then we can go to dinner. That's fine. It'll be, I mean. Yeah, no, that's oh, fine. Cam's here. Hey, Steph. Hey, Cam. How's the show? No, it's actually tonight. Oh, are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. Yeah, it'll be good. Um, babe, I'll text you. I think we're gonna go wake up Spence. What do you mean, wake up Spence? Um, it's like it's been gosh. Really? Yeah. Okay. Bed. We thought you did too. Yeah, sorry. I uh, I just got a little carried away. Um, what happened? Well, I was scrolling through Instagram, you know, and uh, I came across a picture of Liz, and she was with another guy. I saw that. Yeah. Wait, I thought you unfollowed her on Instagram. Yeah, I tried that. Um, 
It didn't quite work out. Fuck, dude. I'm sorry. It's fine, man. You know, it's it's just this thing. You know, it always shows you what you don't want to see. And it makes me feel like shit. I get that. Yeah. You guys are always talking about the best or the perfect way to depict yourself through a screen. And I'm thinking, why can't I just be myself in real life and ignore what's going on there? You know, I scroll through and I see what people are doing. I see what my ex-girlfriend's doing. And I don't want to. And frankly, I don't want her to see what I'm doing. It all seems insanely superficial to me. I just wish I could exist outside of this. I wish I could exist in a world without it. Where I can just be myself and not have to worry about a screen. You know? Yeah. Love just seems kind of pointless with the screens these days. Ugh. I think I'm going to puke. Seriously? Yep. Yeah. Jesus. Fuck. Jesus, dude. He's really in pain. I know. We should probably get him some water. I just feel bad. I don't know. I agree. I see where he's coming from with, like, the whole phone thing. And I understand, like, you know, why he's so bothered, but... I don't know. Like, this is how we live now. Like, I need I this. Know. Steph I and I need this. If I didn't have this, I probably wouldn't have Steph. And so, I mean, we live in a world with screens, and you should adapt to it. And I don't know. I, I see no problem with taking advantage of what technology has given us, you know, and enjoying it for its romantic benefits. I agree. I mean, that's the only way me and Olivia are surviving. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we wouldn't be here if we didn't have these. Sinking like stones, all that we fall for. Homes, places we've grown, all of us are done. seeing it going one or two ways it's I get there and everything's amazing like it feels like how we are on FaceTime everything's going well we have the same dynamic but it's literally in physical form and then the other scenario is everything gets completely thrown off like the part part about having this long-distance relationship is the screen makes me feel safe like it honestly does. When I'm talking to her, I don't have this kind of fragileness, I'd say. Like, 
like I don't feel as raw or vulnerable when I'm talking to her on FaceTime. And that's why I think without the screen, it could go horribly wrong. I've got this in my head that something will happen and it might just go horribly wrong. But I think it's time. You got this. You ready? Alright, wish me luck. Okay, I'm here. Can we just talk about it, please? I know, I understand that, but I'm... I don't want to wait until I get back to talk about this. I don't understand, like, did you wait until I'm miles away for you to tell me this? Like, tell me something like that? Okay, well, do you want to be with him? Do you want to be with him? I, uh, that's fine, but I don't, no, I don't want to be friends. I can't be friends with you. Then that's fine. That's fine. Here's to the nights that go on forever, and here's to the days that feel too short. To the memories we will always cherish, and to the memories we wish we could throw away. To the delicious dinners we eat, and to the bleeding bank accounts we ignore. To the friends that stand by your side, and to the friends that left years ago. To the phone calls that end in I love you, and to the phone calls that don't. To the beautiful new faces we meet, and to the beautiful fists that meet our faces. To the drinks we all shared, and to the drinks that helped us forget. Here's to the nights we remember, and even more so, Here's to the nights we regret.